our vision was to explore a vast variety of emotion within each character. We didn't want to create a trailer that holds your hands through the entire thing. I think that, you know, that was definitely a conscious decision, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. You know, it was like, you know, don't take the view for a fool. And, and you, want, you want them to be asking questions all the time. You know, the first time you see Bologna's eyes shimmer, and it's like, what is that? First time you see the fire giant, it's like, why are they there? You, you're almost asking the viewers, like, trust us with this one. This doesn't make sense yet. <laughs> stick, stick with us by the end of the trailer. And yeah. it's nearly four minutes. By the end of the trailer, all the pieces will come together and you'll, yeah. and you'll know what you've watched. There's, there's a moment where when the fire giant screams out with rage, we cut through to Bologna's eyes burning with rage as well. And that's the point in the trailer where she, it goes from playful to actually just downright evil. You know, and, and those kind of connections between the two environments, even though they're separate timelines, the connections visually between the two emphasise the story. At the beginning of the trailer, it's at its most contrasting. So it's so Bologna's at her most peaceful, and the fire giant's lair is kind of at its most fearsome. And towards the end of the trailer, those two timelines from a mood point of view, you get closer and closer. Yeah. So at the ex so that final exchange, as Bologna buries a hammer into the fire, fire giant, Thor gets stabbed in the back. So all these kind of things were purposefully laid out throughout the trailer to you know to that end point, just to keep you in, you know, keep the intrigue and keep people wanting to watch. We had this idea of this epic battle scene. Yes. That consisted of all of the gods. We've got that one shot. All the characters are on screen at once. And we didn't want to get that kind of kung fu moment where somebody gets hit and stands back and waits to go back in. It isn't just combat for combat's sake. Yeah. You, can, you, you can pick any character in that shot and see what their intention is, how they try and action that, and what the payoff is. I mean, it's all about the facial expressions. It's, from the beginning, we just wanted the characters to act and to perform. And the only way that you know that this person is on this person's team at, at a certain point is the way that they look at each other. That is such a difficult thing to do. So when you see Loki in the gardens, he's how you'd expect him to be. He's cocky, he's arrogant, he's sinister. But when you see him in the fire giant's lair, he's kind of, he's just looking after himself. He's kind of a wimp almost at some points. You know, he, he kind of, he runs away from, from the danger. He's trying to save himself. So it's getting those kind of multifaceted sides to the characters, making them three dimensional rather than just you know, conventional. It, that was the main aim, to give each character a meaningful story arc. We're not just portraying the emotion of the characters. They've acknowledged that we've captured a mood that they're very aware of experiencing playing the game. Yeah. You know, if you watch this trailer, I defy you not to have an emotive response to it. It feels established and, yeah. and, it, and it feels deep. Yeah. And we kind of wanted to open people's eyes up to realising how, how big the game this actually is. I think it's really got its own identity and it feels like something that's standalone in terms of it's got humour, it's got attitude. And it's got a little bit of, you know, kind of swag to it as well, you know, with a, with a cool track and it's, and that's for me is my, you know, that's what I'm most proud of for this trailer.